I'm mad. Hey everybody, this is James Mountain, Community Manager here at Grasshopper Manufacturer. And today for a 20 week anniversary... Uh, so when do I get to light up some demons? Hey, what the hell, man? Hey, what the, the fuck? The bullet train is here. Hell, monkey. And maybe I will blow your head off nicely. No, 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 Hey, every demon has the right to pick the music for his own funeral. I do love a party. Demon Hunter. Your bullets have no fight. No. Revolution. Your favorite video game character. Remember me? I'm back! <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Let's play! <laughs> Today 
for generations of gamers. This is where it all began. The cultural icon of the gaming industry. More influential than any pop star or politician. The most famous video game mascot of all time. Devolver Digital's very own Volvi. You know him as the star of all your favorite Devolver games. But where did Volvi come from? Many years ago, Devolver Digital hired little-known designer Ronathan Trotfield and tasked him with creating a character that could rival the big names of the day. You have to remember, we were trying to compete with the heavy hitters. Bonk, Gex, Awesome Possum, Arrow the Acro, Bad. And this was no small task. Uh, yeah, we spent a few years on it, but... Oh, to be honest, I don't really remember drawing it. I remember Ronathan showing us that final design. It was a beautiful moment. That face, those smart brown shoes, and of course, the master stroke. His one big hand. For gaming? I'd just never seen a character with a hand that big. We knew straight away we had something special. Volvi was introduced to the world in his first solo game, Field Run, which went on to become a cult hit. We were seeing the sales numbers going up and up. We couldn't believe it. The demand for the character was insane. I think it's supposed to be a rat. And so Volvi went on to star in a string of hit Devolver titles. Hotline Miami. Volvi. Cult of the Lamb. Grease from Nomada. <laughs> Ape House. My friend Pedro. Piku Niku. Enter the Gungeon. The list goes on and on. Volvi's popularity had skyrocketed. He was an icon, not just for video games, but pop culture in general. The Volvi merchandise was flying off the shelves. I'm talking clothing, toys, and even a range of what we called legally edible snack foods. Yay! Volvi's Mystery Bites! Can you solve the riddle? <laughs> Join Volvi and try to figure out what's in your mouth. <laughs> They're confusing to taste. <laughs> but tastes and trends are fickle. And as the years went by, kids began to want different things from their video game mascots. We saw the way the market was changing, and we made the difficult decision to part ways with Ronathan. We had no choice. We needed to keep Volvi relevant. It's Volvi 2.0 in the new game from Devolver Digital. Cigarette heist! We lost the big cheeky smile. I don't need your permission to eat a meat burger. Even the big hand for gaming. In favor of something with more attitude. Guess what? I have an earache and I don't care. It's graffiti time. Looking back on it, maybe we went too far. Volvi 2.0 performed poorly and the character began a slow but steady decline. So, we made the decision to quietly discontinue the Volvi franchise. It felt like I was losing a family member. Well, a, a distant family member, but it was still quite horrible. And, uh, nobody has seen him since. Until now. Good evening, good evening. And thank you all for coming to a very, very special night. I'm your host, Chris Jake. And you heard it right, folks. I am so proud to present the launch event for the reboot, rebirth, and return of the world's greatest video game mascot, Volvo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, settle down, please, because it gets even better. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Valdi's original creator, Ronathan Trotfield. Come on, Ron. Yes. Wow. 
Oh my goodness, Ron, what a moment. You are looking fantastic. Please tell me, bro, how do you feel right now on this momentous day? Very nice. <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. That, that is amazing. And I, for one, cannot wait to see what you and the team at Devolver have come up with. So, uh, what do you say? You want to see him? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, may I present to you the new and improved Volve E! <laughs> wow. Oh my God, he is back, incredible. But how does he work? I'm glad you asked, Chris. Well, we've taken the heart and soul of what made Ronathan's character so lovable, but we've given him a very important new update. With the latest advances in both biotech and machine learning, Volve E fuses the DNA of a real vol with today's most powerful AI technology. That's impressive, yeah. In short, Volve E can instantly generate brand new, fully playable games based on simple prompts by the player. Simple prompts, you say? That's right. The consumer no longer has to wait for a bunch of slow programmers and stinky developers to be inspired. <laughs> no. They can use Volve E to play what they want, when they want. Here, uh, let me show you. Hey there, Volve E. Volve -E. Generate a game for me. How about one that, oh, I don't know, is a cooperative survival sandbox, but with wizards. Baby. Listen, and I'll tell you a tale. There they stood. Six alone, the hunter, the maker, and the wild swamp's own. Young chief rising and a weaver of bone. Remember, remember, the gate was thrown wide, the horror inside. The riders drew iron, there was nowhere to hide. Before it was done, our heroes, yes, everyone, they fell and died.
incredible. So wait a minute. Are you saying that game was entirely generated by Valve E? No one has to spend any time or effort making it? Correct. There was no real creative process at all. Just Valve E and his wonderful machine learning. <laughs> Huh. Oh, no, well, that's a good question, actually. Uh, well, each prompt and game idea has to be digested by Valve E's powerful system, and so inevitably there are some waste byproducts. Uh, so, so back to the games. Um, do you mean to say that anyone can give Valve a prompt? Even, I don't know, me? <laughs> sure, Chris. Uh, see for yourself. Oh, okay. I'm nervous now. <laughs> Hi, Valve. <laughs> Chris Jane. I'm a huge fan of the Talos principle, so I'd like to see something like that, but with new puzzles a grander story, and big, beautiful worlds to roam around. Oh, and I'd like to see that gameplay right about now. I can't help but notice that many of these structures are not strictly functional. There's a sense of aesthetics of beauty here. This place might be meant to test us, but perhaps there's more to it than that. What are we being tested for? Our worth? Curiosity? Our persistence? Is it just their symbolic value? Because the thing about puzzles is that they can be solved. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now that looks like the kind of game I could really spend my disposable income on. Thanks, Balby. Yes. And um, what happened to his big hand? Uh -huh. And the best part is that to create a game with Valve E, you don't need any game experience or uh, any of that tech stuff. <laughs> Who here hasn't dreamt of creating their own game? I have. Right? I have, I have. You there. idea you'd like Valve E to generate? Oh, uh, okay, um, how about a super weird walking simulator where you control the character's legs independently from his body? Maybe there's some guys in horses' heads and possibly there's even a mountain? Right. Um, but let's see, Valve what could you rustle us up? Don't touch me. <laughs> Nate, buddy, family meeting, let's go. Are you bringing him food again? I, not we right now. We talked about this. Not right now. You are okay? literally killing him with these pizzas. You he, just want to throw him out on the street? No, I, no I, he's 35. Want to I want him to have some kind of discipline. No. Nate, if you can hear my voice, I want you to come up here and we're having a family meeting. <laughs> What the hell?
Oh, can you not? I, uh, d uh it's just, I didn't. Yeah, let's go back in time to when you didn't. No, I, I was just trying to k catch it with my, uh, sorry, with I just your using my... Yeah, you tried to catch it. I saw it was starting to go and I just tried you to... You just kicked, you thought, I'll give it a good kick no, to counteract the fall. Yeah, I was just trying to steady it. I might be over... Yeah, you might, you might I, have. I, I yeah, over... You might have. You might have over yeah, it. No, it's just a little over steadied. Well, it's not steady now. No, I, well... See you later. So, uh... Wanker. Yeah. Uh, property and you still have to buy it. Okay, give her a big hand. Brilliant. So what happens if we bring a pro into this? Let's give Valby something really special here. What's up, guys? Hey, hey, yo, hey, how we doing? Guys, I am watching live, and can I just say, what you were doing out there, incredible. I could not be more excited to be part of whatever this is. And thank you. We're all massive fans of your influencing. What sort of prompt would you like to give Valve E here? Okay, try this, Volvi. A much anticipated sequel to a hilarious online co op game. Just more gameplay, more levels, just better all around. Okay, Valvi, show them what you got. I know I'd love to get my hands on a copy of that. Who wouldn't, right? <laughs> yeah, come on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that you have all met the new and improved Volve E, it's time for him to meet with you as we connect him to Devolver's global network of gamers. Yeah, that's right, come on! Once connected, his powerful technology will be an open source tool free for us all to use. Wow, that is generous. Here we go!
Percent of all your favorite Volvi merchandise right now! Buy it now! A dimension to Dolver! Devolver! Buy it now! <laughs> 